This is a quick tutorial on how to use Microsoft Excel for graphing laboratory data. Uh, let's say you wanted to graph um, an uh, independent versus a dependent variable. So let's say, for example, we were graphing concentration versus uh, conductivity. So whatever um, is prepped for you in the lab or you have prepped yourself, that's your independent variable, that always goes in the first column. The second column is always the thing that you measured. Um, so in this case, con we, um, in the lab uh, on conductivity, we create solutions of different concentration, we measure their conductivity. So let's say you have concentrations of 0 0.01, 0 0.02, 0 0.05, and 0 0.10, and 0 0.20, let's just say. All right, and let's say we measured conductivities of uh, 251 and 500, and um, uh, 1260 and uh, 2605 and uh, 5343. Um, Let's say those are our values, all right? Now to make a graph, we're now going to, um, to uh, click on this first, um, this first cell here and we're going to highlight the parts that we're going to graph. And then go up here to Insert. Now, your version of Excel may be different from mine, so you may have to search around for these things, but they all sort of work the same way. So you go to Insert, and then you're looking under Charts, you're looking for the one that looks like, that's called Scatter Graph. It looks like a bunch of different little points. Do not pick these ones that have all the lines attached. We don't want that. We just want to see the, the, the points, okay? So there's our chart, and then the next step in this, and um, I'll make another video for how to put the labels and make it pretty. Um, for now, um, we'll just put conductivity experiment in here for the title. Um, the most important thing, though, is to create a uh, what Microsoft Excel calls a trend line and everyone else in the world calls a line of best fit. We're going to right click or whatever the equivalent on Mac is that I can never remember on a data point. And then we're going to go down here to add trend line. And this will bring up a menu. Um, over here on the right, which of course you couldn't see just until just now. So you want to, it always defaults to linear, which is usually what we're after. Um, but you have to kind of go down here to the very bottom. It's hidden. You have to scroll down. Usually you want to display the equation on the chart and the display the R squared value. We'll talk more about what the R squared value means. The equation, of course, is the, um, is the Y equals MX plus B form of the line of best fit. Um, but that is the way that we are going to create graphs in Microsoft Excel and create a trend line. So just a quick review. Um, the first thing you do is you type in the data. All right, you go to insert scatter graph and then uh, use the one without any lines and then you right click on a data point and add the, um, do add trend line and then make sure that you click the, the boxes that allow you to add the line of best fit and the R squared value.